Hi everybody, today is December 30th and today I want to talk about uh, the second part of the sign language uh, with children. So last time we spoke about the idea of using the sign language uh, to teach children the a way to communicate so that um, we can lessen their stress and allow them to talk about uh, their world. Today I want to talk about two important questions that come up very frequently. The first one is when can I start using the sign language? Uh, and the second one is, uh, what type of sign language uh, should I be using? So let's start with the first one. When do I start uh, using the sign language? And this has two components. The first one is, when do I start uh, attempting to communicate with my child using the, using the sign language um, and teaching it uh, to them? And the second part is, when should I expect that my child uh, would communicate back to me using uh, the sign language? And the answers to uh, these two parts is, um, and the answers to these parts are that um, it is very dependent on the developmental uh, stage of the of the child. Each child is different, so some children will be able to grasp these concepts very quickly, and they would be able to uh, repeat them and um, even use their their motor skills, their muscular uh, motor skills, uh, to repeat some of these moves very quickly. Uh, where some other uh, other children they might get uh, delayed a little bit. However, on average. Um, you should you should be starting to uh, communicate with your child uh, using the sign language uh, no, no later than eight uh, to nine months uh, after they are born. However, it is not a bad idea to start immediately after they are born. Uh, for example, uh, I start I started immediately right now for two reasons. The first one is that um, so that my child is able to uh, recognize some of these symbols uh, early on. And the second thing is that for me to learn these symbols and be able to practice them um, so I have enough time to, to develop this second, uh, so that I have them as second nature uh, and I'm able to use them uh, frequently and, um, and easily. So the way you would, uh, you would start is that um, you would mention the word uh, verbally uh, to the child um, and then you would uh, show the sign um, using your, uh, your hands. So for example, if I want to uh, say uh, milk, the word uh, milk, uh, maybe I'm trying to ask my, my child if they want milk. If I want to say, hey, I'm giving you milk, uh, the sign for milk is like this. Um, so I would mention the word milk and I would sign at the same time. And the key here is repetition. Um, you would have to uh, repeat uh, this uh, over and over and over. Uh, you have to have a lot of, uh, a lot of patience. Um, so uh, then when do I expect my child to start uh, communicating back to me with the sign language? Most children will start using the, the sign language if they, if they were taught it uh, at an early stage um, at around 10 uh, to 14 uh, months uh, of age. Um, now, again, that's very dependent on the child and their developmental abilities, uh, but that's uh, on average. The second question is, well, what type of sign language uh, do I use? Actually, there are many, 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 many different uh, sign languages and uh, symbols out there. Um, even in specifically for the English language, uh, there are multiple, uh, multiple ones. Uh, for example, you have the American Sign Language. Uh, you also have the International uh, Sign Language. And then uh, for every culture or every country that speaks other languages, uh, they develop as well uh, their own version uh, of the uh, sign language. So which one uh, should you use? Uh, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, the key here is that we're not trying to build uh, interpreters or translators. All what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to offer um, these children that um, have very limited uh, verbal communication channels and, uh, and abilities, another medium to communicate with us about the world, um, another medium where they can release that stress in which they have something to say, they have, they see the world in their own, uh, in their own eyes and, in, and from their own perspective, and they want to communicate and express themselves, but they're not able to do that verbally. So we want to give them another uh, channel, another medium, so that they're able to communicate with us. So what you will know, what you will notice is that most of the terms that 
you will learn and you will teach your, your child are going to be very simple terms uh, that pertain to things that are used uh, frequently. Uh, for example, the, uh, the idea of milk, the idea of um, eating, uh, drinking, uh, water, uh, things like that. Um, so those simple terms in most of these languages, uh, they are uh, the same. Uh, but even if they're not, uh, you want to pick something that is simple, uh, that is simple, very, very simple, uh, because the, ch the children don't have those uh, abilities to, uh, to mimic uh, very complicated moves um, while their uh, muscular system uh, and their motor, uh, motor skills are still being, uh, are still developing. Um, so if you see, for example, two different symbols for the same thing, pick the, the easier one and use it with that with, with your child and stick with it. It doesn't matter what you pick, uh, just stick with that specific symbol. Uh, you can even develop your own uh, symbols and, uh, and moves. And you'll actually tend to do that uh, very early on. For example, if you're saying bye, you will naturally just wave uh, bye. Um, so just stick with that, um, uh, with, with that, with that motion, um, and repeat it to the child over and over and over. One key thing to, uh, to remember is that if you ever decide to take this to the next level, like actually in a couple of years from now, you want to, um, teach your child some really, really complicated things pertaining to sign language. For example, you wanted to teach them the alphabet. Um, now, if you're teaching them the English alphabet, well, that's great. You could use the American Sign Language. Um, however, if you are speaking another language to your child, for example, you're trying to, um, uh, to build a, a bilingual uh, child or bilingual house. For example, for me, I speak to my, uh, to my child in Arabic. Um, but if I ever get to the level where I am trying to interpret uh, the letters because each letter has its own sign, uh, has its own uh, kind of motion um, or symbol in the sign language, I'm not going to use the American sign language. I'm actually going to use um, another set of symbols that are specific to uh, Arabic sign language. Uh, and I already have the resources for that. So just that's just something to keep in mind. Again, uh, most of us are not going to get to that level. Um, so we don't have to worry much about that. I hope that and that answers um, these two questions. Let me know if you have uh, any other questions or, uh, or inquiries. Um, and in the meanwhile, happy parenting.